I'm David Key, and today I want to talk to you about a, a few things about roping, uh, some of the details that people don't discuss about roping. Um, one of the, the most common things that I see is how people hold their rope and how that affects their swing and their feeding, and then that affects their delivery. So I want to go over a couple things with you. The first thing is how you grip your rope. Um, there are people, about one out of every 20 people that come to me doing lessons or schools, that instead of crossing their rope over and having their loop strand towards the end of their fingertips and having the strand that goes through the eye on the inside of their hand, they actually hold it with the strand that goes through the eye closer to their fingertips and they put the loop part in the palm of their hand. So what this affects is it makes you have to grip your rope deeper in the palm of your hand and it makes you have to hold it tighter so that you don't blow this strand, blow your spoke while, while swinging it and feeding it. And so how this affects your swing is your rope can't turn over the way it's supposed to because you have the rope too deep in the palm of your hand. Now the next thing is, the next most common uh, issue that I see with how people hold their rope is most people have all heard point your finger when you rope. How many of you have heard that? Almost everybody has at some point during their life, if they've roped very long, point your finger when you rope. That is a old school uh, mistake that people have made in teaching roping. You don't actually point your finger when you rope because if you point your finger when you rope, look at where the rope is in the palm of my hand on the bottom of my hand. It's way back here. I don't want to have the rope in the palm of my hand. I want the rope to be out on my fingers so that when I turn my rope over, my pinky can lift. And what that does is that lets that rope turn over so much better in my hand and lets it lay down in the back side of my swing back here. And it lets it really open up back there. If I don't do that, if I point my finger like everybody teaches, then it being in the palm of my hand here, when I go to swing my rope, it wants to make my loop stand up in the back. So as I come around right here, if I've got it in the palm of my hand right there, it makes that loop want to stand up back there instead of really laying over so that it's big and open in the back and you can see the difference in it. A big open loop in your swing, when it comes around the back side of your swing, lets you have a big open loop in your delivery. If your loop stands up back here and it's closed and it wants to stand up and be closed back here, then when you come around with your delivery, that loop is having to try to open up in your delivery, which makes it a lot harder to have a big open loop and be able to deliver the rope the correct way. So <clears throat> when you're holding your rope, you want it to lay out in these knuckles right here. Not back here in these back knuckles or out here in the palm of your hand, anywhere in here. You want it to be between your knuckle by your fingernail and the next knuckle over. That is where you want your rope to lay is in these knuckles. So when you're, when you're just putting your hand down, you want to just let your hand just lay, just lay down there. Let the rope lay out in your fingers and then just bend your fingers and lay your thumb on it. And really softly hold it in your fingers. You never want to grip your rope tight. If you grip your rope tight, then you, your rope won't lay down the way it's supposed to and you can't uh, turn your rope over the way it's supposed to. The biggest thing that gripping your rope too tight does for you is it makes you not feel the tip of your rope. So how many of you have ever felt like either you didn't feel the tip of your rope very good or you never have felt the tip of your rope? I've had people come to numerous schools and lessons and after the first half a day, even if they've been to schools to everybody under the sun, they say within a half a day, I've never felt tip my rope like I've felt it now. Because they understand now where the tip of their rope is and they understand what that feeling is. And the only way you can feel the tip of your rope is to have it out on your fingers out here. And the reason why that makes you feel the tip of your rope is because if you hold it loose in your hand, and the centrifugal force pulls it out against you, out away from your body, and it pulls it out into your fingers. Now that weight pulling against you all the way around is pulling out into your fingers. And as it pulls out into your fingers, as you come around in your swing, 
that creates that tip weight out there and that makes you follow the tip the whole way around. If you have it in the palm of your hand, then if you're not careful, you just go to swing in your rope and you, you don't know where your tip is. You're just swinging and throwing. So this leads to a second point or, a, or the next point of this is, uh, when you just swing and throw your rope versus when you feel the tip of your rope, you're throwing your rope, meaning you're not letting the rope do its work, do the job and releasing the rope out of your fingers. You're actually gripping the palm of your hand, you're swinging your rope and you're throwing your rope harder out of the palm of your hand. This affects your delivery in so many different ways. If you let the tip of your rope pull against your fingers the whole way around, the rope actually slides off the end of your fingers, kind of like if you were throwing a baseball. The rope should flow off the end of your fingers whenever it comes out. It should never come out of the palm of your hand and you be throwing the rope out. Because if that happens, then it messes your loop up when it comes in. Your loop is coming in way too hard and it's coming in with no finesse whatsoever. Um, so how many of you have ever felt like roping is really hard for you or you feel like you're working yourself to death when you swing your rope? 99% of the people out there feel this way. And the reason why you feel like you're working yourself to death in your swing when you're swinging and throwing is because you're not using the tip of your rope for the power. You're trying to use brute strength and brute force for your power. Think about this. How many kids, little kids, can rope really good? I mean, you see them all the time. They're swinging the rope. They can reach. They're, it's phenomenal watching little kids rope. And the reason why they rope so good is because they're, they're small enough and they're weak enough that they don't have the power to be able to make the rope do anything. So what they have to depend on is the weight of the tip of the rope, swinging it in a circular, circular motion, using that tip weight all the way around, generating centrifugal force, generating power through the tip and releasing the tip of the rope. So all of their power is through centrifugal force and feeling the tip of the rope and using the tip of the rope. They can't do it any other way because they're not strong enough. The worst thing, especially that men do, is they try to use their brute strength or force and try to make the rope do something. And I'll have people that are swinging their rope and I'm working on their swing, trying to get them to loosen up and they're, they're just, oh, my arm's hurting, my, my, this part of my arm's getting cramped, this part's cramping, my wrist's cramping, my hand's cramping, all of these things. My, uh, my shoulder's hurting, all of these things. If you have ever experienced this, or if you're experiencing this now, you're gripping your rope too tight. And so what you can do to tell the difference is, any time, 100% of the time, if your hand is hurting, if your arm is hurting, if your shoulder's hurting, any of this, you're gripping your rope too tight. So take your hand, ball up your fist, poke this part of your arm right here, your forearm, and see what the difference is. It's tight right now when you've got a fist, Loosen your hand up and just go limp. Just take your hand and go totally limp. Feel how soft it is. You can feel the difference in it, and when you do this, before too long, you can feel all of these muscles tight. And the reason why you start hurting is because all these muscles are tight when you're trying to swing your rope. So if you'll just take your rope and let it lay in your fingers like we're talking about and just turn the rope over and follow the rope around in a circle real soft, and let the rope just lay around you, lay down and fall around you and fall around you and fall around you in a circular motion, it should feel so easy when you do that correctly. It'll feel very difficult when you do it wrong. 